Have you swum in the deep sea yourself? I don't invest in any crypto. Simply, there's a list of reasons why. One is that is that that I I don't feel I know an awful lot about it. Like I don't know enough about it. I tend to like really deep liquid markets because you know my my main trading is in financial futures, and I I have a good system for for investing that I've used for over twenty years. And since since I, I I no longer own the fund that I started, but I still run the investment strategy, but mm. with my own mm. money and. And that works for me. And so to a certain extent, I kind of, you know, it makes sense to me to do what I know rather than to sort of step out into into another thing. But I also, um, I even feel that there's many risks, there's there's reputation risks also associated with crypto that I, I, I don't think people are really talking about very much right now. But uh, for for example, there's there's a guy I know who um, you know ended up in discussion with regulators uh, relating to money laundering because of uh, his crypto trading, and the the problem with crypto trading is, of course, you don't know who you're dealing with, right? And so, in many ways, you might think of yourself as buying and selling crypto tokens. But if the other side of that transaction is a, is a money launderer, mm. just because you mm. don't know uh, that you're aiding in, in money laundering doesn't mean that you're, you're not and doesn't mean that the regulators won't be upset about that. And so, you know, I, I worry that a, a lot of people could in the future find themselves in trouble over issues like that. And it, it just doesn't... It, it, I, I don't really see such opportunity for me in that space for it to be worthwhile me getting too involved, you know. So I, yeah. I kind of more view it as an interesting uh, puzzle and an example than I do something that I would get involved in. Can, can that also be tied to sort of the argument that a lot of uh, crypto enthusiasts make, like that the institutional big money is, is about to start investing in crypto, but if it's, not, if it's already too risky... From a legal perspective for, for you, then then that surely would be the case for a bank or a hedge fund as well, right? Or, or do they have enough lawyers to, to get around that, do you think? You know, the thing is that there's always someone who'll do these things. Like even when something, you know, just because something's unethical doesn't mean people won't do it. And, and there are plenty of, of hedge funds who already invest. In, in fact, it was funny, uh, back when I launched my fund, the, one of the service providers that I was using told me that the majority of the funds, that was what it was in around 2011, he said to me that he was dealing with tons of crypto funds at the time, you know, so so that existed, uh, you know, more, more than 10 years ago. The thing is, the real question is, at what point do, what can I say, like the really big respectable investors get into crypto like the the question is when will your mom own bitcoin and if if you can't picture that ever happening then then maybe it never goes fully mainstream because if if you think about it like when when we look at the distribution of wealth in most western society it tends to be stacked towards the baby boomer generation and it's not obvious to me that they have any urge to sort of step outside of the traditional financial system to get involved in a lot of these things. Yeah. All right. So no swimming in the deep sea for you. Uh, also not for me, by the way. Uh, I always thought, hey, this is a bubble. And um, I think you can make good money in a bubble, but um, it's not necessarily my field of expertise. And, and so I, I wouldn't get into that. And I think I heard you made a similar argument.